We made it here to the Hubbley race and just watched the start. We got unloaded and everything and then had to hurry up to the start. And uh, I'll throw those clips in right now. That second row is huge. How anybody didn't crack there. That was crazy. <laughs> anyway, though, we are, um, yeah, we're here at the race. It's a cold, chilly day, nice and wet, but we got the 125, rebuilt it all and everything. So, yeah, gonna rip it up on the 125 today. Got it rebuilt. And uh, should be good now, hopefully. OEM crank and the hot rod just, I don't know, that 30 seconds of racing it was too much. So if you guys missed that video, be sure to check it out. And then uh, all the other build series videos, but we're gonna get to racing this thing, um, throw on the GoPro and have a normal race video. So hope you guys enjoy and also, I got the link down in the description for some merch, so be sure to check that out too. Gotta to stay warm, stay dry, and get to racing. Alright, it is race time. I think we got 21 of us pros here. Oh, man, lock bars, about ran into mom, and we're off. Almost crashed, that was a close one. Would have been a terrible way to start the day. Not a great start, but better than crashing. So we're off now and pretty close to dead last. down to the bottom of the hill I saw Cole go to the right here and I was like oh I remember this from years past and they were talking about there's some big split line out there so I was like man I'm just gonna take it take a chance I don't know why nobody went this way but me and Cole are just trying to rip through here as fast as we can and I'm trying to pass some people here because this is gonna be the easiest way to pass them all day so right there we made some passes and now we're up to fifth place, I believe. So, made a lot of passes there, and that was super helpful. Okay, so the line in front of us, I think we have Nathan, James, Caleb, Cole, Travis, and then me. So, not a bad place to be right now. And uh, just going to see how it works out. We're going a pretty good play pace on this first lap. So. Travis goes around the outside, tries to square Cole off. I don't think he just quite got the run at it. He about had it and about had it around that corner as well. Alright, so this is the section I was dreading on the 125 here. guys later. The old 
125 just could not quite keep up but then we have James went down in that corner and so we got side by side and he pulled me through there but I was like man I'm not gonna let off I gotta get by him right here but ended up being able to get by so now we're up to fifth I believe and so we still got uh, Nathan leading and then Caleb Cole Travis this section through here got pretty rutted. Every lap it just got deeper and deeper. Caught a root with his front tire there. That washed the front. Close call. out a little bit now and I've kind of lost them just a tiny little bit but still can see them and they're still in sight so just got to reel them in that little bit and then we'll be back in the game. <laughs> So here we have out in the field blast, Travis barely gets by Cole there and then about blows this corner, but ended up getting by, so now we have Caleb in front of me. way they were today I'm not sure that 125 was ideal choice but I just got a 250 and didn't get it ready in time and you know it's a 125 so they're fun in anything but that's why we're racing the 125 we barely got it back together in time and then Caleb right there I didn't I barely got it but I think he ended up making some kind of mistake and um, got by him there so now we gotta go catch Travis and them because they have left us just that little bit and in some of the sections you can see them but they're barely out of sight. <laughs> able to hear them coming across the other way and like I said we're not that far but just that little bit so we got to push hard and just let that 125 eat <laughs>
Alright, so this is nearing the end of the first lap. catch up still just that little bit After the race, I talked to him and he had a rock stuck in his back brake lever, so he just pulled over and didn't block the trail, make us all crash. But he had a rock in his back brake, but ended up getting it kicked out, so now he's behind us. section I've been dreading. I thought Nathan was going to come around me there, but he tried to go through that mud hole and pretty much just got sucked down by it, so couldn't get the drive to get past me, but the 350 about ate me for lunch. Once we started racing, how good the conditions were getting, it turned into like some pretty tacky dirt for the most part, and then there's just a couple sections that were super slick, but it got also super rutted, which I didn't mind. I like the ruts, but other than that, it was pretty, pretty good. <laughs> happened to Nathan there he ended up losing some ground but um, I think he's still not too far off of us so this section right here was definitely the most rutted of them all uh, coming up here we got a big long rut going all the way up the hill Travis made a bit of a mistake so I was gonna try to capitalize on it but couldn't and those ruts just kept getting deeper and deeper throughout the day so I was 
starting to feel pretty comfortable and I was gonna try to get some passes made so we could get up to the lead but right now they're just not making too many mistakes and then uh, I made a mistake myself and lost a little bit of ground here <laughs> But then, right back up there, there's a split line, and Travis took the good line, and Cole's line was a little bit slower, so now we got Travis in the lead, and we're behind Cole. Unfortunately, GoPro batteries don't last that long, but here, I'll show you guys the end of the race, but on the last lap, um, Nathan came out of nowhere and passed me and Cole both, and then Cole passed me in that field section I dread every lap. Nathan caught up the trap, there's Cole, and then uh, on the last lap, I had a bit of a collision with the lapper and then my throttle stuck wide open after I crashed, so had to fix that. Ended up fourth. So, awesome day on the 125. The 15-year-old bike did amazing. <laughs> that was fun. The old 125. Good crew. <laughs> yeah, crew. What, you crashed behind me? That dude, that dude passed right there right before you could. Okay, I know it may be a bit hard to see, but it was an awesome day racing. And uh, today we raced a 14-year-old bike. So, 14-year-old bike and was running out the front there for a while. And then that last lap just had a little bit of an issue. Um, got into like a kind of a crash with the lapper. And then also my throttle held wide open. I don't know what the deal was. Something with the cable, I think. But we'll get that little thing figured out. But anyway, 14-year-old bike. It can hang with the new ones, so you guys don't need a brand new bike to start racing or anything. Just get what you can, fix it up, and go have fun. But awesome day of racing, and thank you guys for watching the video. Be sure to like the video up if you guys enjoyed the 125 stuff, and be sure to check out the full build on the 125, and then uh, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, everything like that. You guys know, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.